everyone! Today I have an art project for us to celebrate winter and snow. We're going to be making snowflakes. While we do this, we'll be reviewing vocabulary related to shapes, and at the end I have some vocabulary for you related to snow. So let's get started. We're going to be making paper snowflakes. For this, you only need three things. You need a pair of scissors, a piece of paper, and your own creativity. To start, we're going to fold the piece of paper in half. Before folding the paper, we have a rectangle. We're going to be cutting the paper to turn it into a square. So cut along the edge, And now we have a square piece of paper. So you're going to continue to fold this piece of paper. Now we have a triangle. And if we fold it in half again, we have another triangle. And from here, you can start cutting with your scissors, or you can keep folding a little bit more. I'm going to fold a few more times to make something that is close to a diamond shape. A diamond would look more like this if it was all the way closed. But I'm going to fold and this is where we start cutting. Once you have your paper folded in the direction that you want, you're going to make small cutouts. So here I made a triangle cutout. You just take that aside. You're going to do this all over the paper, making small cuts to create a design. The more cuts you make, the more elaborate your snowflake is going to look. This is where your creativity comes in. You can also unfold and then refold your flake in a different manner to get a new design. On this snowflake, I'm making mostly triangular cuts, but you can make rounded cuts or rectangular cuts. It's all up to you. When you're done, when you think you've made enough little cuts and holes in your flake, you can open it up, unfold the flake to see what design you have. Now, just like snowflakes, all of the flakes that you make like this out of paper are going to be unique designs. So here's another one that I made and a third. This one has a lot more curvy cuts than it has uh, pointed rectangular or triangular cuts. So you can see there's some more circles and ovals in this flake. So it's an easy project and you can use them to decorate around the house for winter and to celebrate snow. Now here's some snow vocabulary. Here are two expressions that have the word snow in them to be snowed under, to have a snowball effect. Here's what these expressions mean. To be snowed under means to have a lot of work to do. To have a snowball effect means that something gets bigger and bigger, more common, or it catches on so that more people are doing it. Here are two examples. I'm completely snowed under at work. The happier I am, the happier I make others around me. My happiness has a snowball effect. Now some fun activities to do in the snow. You can snowboard or ski, have a snowball fight, make a snowman, or go snowshoeing. <laughs> 